Hello there, this is Mark Loeb, the author of uh, The Looking Glass Detective. Today we're going to talk a little bit about phone power. Have you ever called a company on the phone and when you heard the other person on the line, immediately you felt disconnected? Or vice versa, have you called sometimes and they immediately pulled you in? Well, let me give you five tips on what to look for and more importantly what to do such that when you're on the phone you are at your most powerful. So number one, before you pick up the phone make sure you're smiling. There's a, a concept called the facial feedback hypothesis and it basically says that whatever we do with our face is the emotion that we lead to in our brain. So if you smile before you pick up the phone and you just happen to put on a smile. That smile is contagious and it impacts the thoughts that are in your mind. So before you pick up the phone, smile and make sure you're in a good place. Number two, breathe. Get your breath right. Get connected with your body. So after you've smiled, after you've got connected with your breath, the third thing you want to do is when you actually pick up the phone, listen to the person on the other end of the line. Listen to their breathing, listen to their tonality, the tone of their voice, listen to the speed with which they speak, and lastly, listen to the words that they use. The fourth thing is pace yourself based on their pace. Match their pace. So you're listening to them and you're listening to their pace. Match and mirror their pace. It creates rapport. And the fifth thing is provide certainty for. When your client rings your corporation, they are looking for answers. Give them the certainty that by calling you, they've got the right person who can provide them answers or at least put them in the right direction to get the answers to their needs in that moment. So those are my five tips for you to have increased phone power and to have increased influence when you're on the phone. This is Mark Logue, the author of The Looking Glass Detective. Cheers.